Hi, I would like to share how to connect the joystick to the Detail Valley game, because now there is no such possibility. But this feature is there if you install the mod and configure it. I'll show you how to do it using the example of my X50 to Pro joystick. First of all, you need to go to nexusmodes.com. You need to register to download the files that we only need to mods. These are Unity Mod Manager and DevDress input. A mod manager is needed to easily install or unload mods. Go to nexusmods.com. In the search line, type of direct input. Click on the tab named Files. Mod Manager Download. We are taken to another mod page. Again, click on the tab named Files. Manual Download. Download and save on your computer. We need to wait a little. OK. Save it somewhere, I saved it in the install folder. I already have such a file because I have done this before. Next we need to download the direct input. Close this page, you won't need it anymore. Here we select the download button. Again you need to wait a bit, save the file nearby. OK, we have already done the first part of the work. Now you need to launch Unity Mod Manager. You will need to unpack, unzip the downloaded archive. OK. Run Unity Mod Manager. In the first tab install we will select the game and the folder in which we want to install the mod. You need to specify the game folder. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Derail Valley. The second tab is required to specify the archive with the mod. Drag the Dove Direct Input Archive to the highlighted area. Install Mod button is needed to manually specify the file. OK, now you need to go to the Install tab and click the Install button. That's it, everything is ready to start the game. Check the status on the Mods tab. Launch the game. I haven't tested in VR mode since I don't have a headset. The manager window will immediately open in the game. We only need the mods tab. In the settings tab, you can view or reassign keyboard shortcuts for opening the manager window. By default it is Ctrl plus F10. OK. Now we need to go to the Mods tab. By the names of the sections you can determine what exactly we will configure. There are only 5 locomotive control handles, but we will use 4. These are throttle and 3 brakes, end brake, hand brake, train brake. Reverser has only 3 values, so it is better to use it with buttons. At the top left of the screen, we will see the connected devices. I have several of them, but we will focus our attention only on the X50 to joystick. Here we need to know its ID, in my case it is ID 0. If we start moving the handle or pressing buttons, we will have additional information appear. For example 16 rotation Y, throttle handle and inputs at number A, Z axis. In the throttle section, set device ID to 0, but device offset will be 8. In your case the options will be different. Look at the displayed numbers in the top left corner as you push or pull the handle. I want to install the train brake on the slider, it is displayed under number 24. Enable checkbox and device offset 24. Device offset 24. Okay, this is great. I can feel that train. Okay. Let's install in brake and handbrake on the rotary axis. Input 16.
let's set up the handbrake. Input rotation X12. Enabled checkbox and device offset 12. Very good. Now, you need to save and you can close the manager window. Okay, let's see what we've got and try all the axes. That is all. I hope I was able to explain and make your game more enjoyable. Have a good game. If you still have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the comments. I will leave the links in the description.